Okay, so this is gonna be a different type of video. I do sit down videos kind of often, but this is gonna be a different type of sit down video. I'm gonna be talking about my time so far in LA, what it's really like living in LA. I have some things that I wanna talk about just like starting from the very beginning. I asked you guys on Instagram, you know, just to give me some other questions, you know, maybe ones I don't think about. So yeah, I'm gonna be just like talking about my time in LA, telling you guys what it's really like, and also answering some of your questions about my time here in LA. So yeah, let's get into it. How did I move to LA? How did I get, you know, the chance? It was from Brad, basically through raw gear and management and stuff like that. The funny thing is like, I always knew I wanted to move to California. So that's why it's like really cool that I'm living here like so early on. Cause I never thought I'd be like living here at like 20 years old, which is sick. And I'm like living like my dream basically, which I'm super grateful for. But basically how it went down is like Ruggier flew me out like a few weeks after they signed me. And um, I got to spend time with the team for a week here and like work out at zoo and just like get to see a little bit of LA. I've been there once before. I've been here once before like that trip. That's when it hit me. I was like, damn, like I would love you know to live here and make like making content like a full-time job like it was like literally my dream so basically after that trip they gave me the opportunity to like sign with management you know i was already signed with rug here and you know you're gonna sign with management you can live in our house and i was like okay that's sick it took me like a month to be like okay i'm just gonna do it and i did and here i am in la it's actually cool to think about how i was just like it took me a couple weeks and i'm like okay yeah i'm gonna move across the country it's just because i knew i wanted to move out here i was like okay i need to get out of jersey i i was like feeling like that for like a couple months at that point once i got out here i was like still a little like timid and shy as you can see in some other videos like brad's first video with me like she moved in or in my first video you could just tell like i have blossomed so much just from like being out here and stuff like i wasn't really myself on camera fully yet like i was still like shy and like like you could just tell like the difference if you go back and watch my old videos to like now i'm so much more myself and more comfortable on camera which i love because you have to be yourself in order to succeed when i first came out here i wasn't too close with brad or like i didn't know much about him i was just like okay he's giving me this awesome opportunity it's crazy but then obviously now it's like completely different. Like we, I have an actual friendship and I can go to him for advice. And I talk to him about like, you know, like personal things like anxiety and stuff, which, you know, really helps me out a lot when I'm <laughs> going through it. But yeah, it's just cool. And like now, like I didn't, I barely knew Isaiah as well. And now we're like dating, which is like, when I first met him, when I first came out, I would have never thought we'd be dating now. It just, it's so crazy to think about. How's the people there? Someone asked. Okay, so let's talk about like making friends in LA. There's a, a few girls like I've met, but I haven't really like made any like close, close friends besides like the, the few people around me. Like I have one like close girlfriend, Val, obviously Isaiah, Brad, Steve, Chris, and then like other people who I'm like pretty close with, but they're like my like main like close people out here, which is fine. Like I don't mind having a small circle. That's really like all you need. It can be hard to make friends out here, at least uh, for me, because you don't know like what people want from you. Some people like just won't even give you the time of day. <laughs> Some people just like want clout. Some people um, or just fake, but like honestly that's that could be anywhere you go obviously But also here it could be more so than other places just because a lot of people come out here for the same thing But you know, then you do meet like really cool people really genuine people at the same time So what does a typical day look like for you? Um, so a typical day for me in LA probably I wake up me and Isaiah wake up at 7 30 every day we go to the gym we work out whatever we're hitting sometimes i'll film a skit with him sometimes after that i'll film a youtube video usually that's how it goes i'll work out and then i'll film a youtube video depends on what day it is usually i'll eat food it really like depends on the day but my days are pretty consistently like the same we used to like go out and like party a little bit more on the weekends and now like we haven't done that like at all i don't even know it's the weekend sometimes like i'm still just sitting home on like a friday or saturday which is like fine i don't mind really all the time i don't really have the want or need to go out and party as much as you know i used to but like we haven't been out since like halloween yeah so it's been like two months yeah we do whatever else like run errands we kind of go to the mall a lot which is not good at all i actually have a spending problem and now it's december and i'm spending a lot more money on gifts and stuff like that and i'm like okay i need to um cut my spending next month and then we usually like eat dinner wherever we eat out a lot it's not good 
we were being good for a while, but then it's just so much easier to eat out. <laughs> and then we usually like watch TV or something before bed and go to bed around like 10.30. That's like a normal day. Has it changed your view on people? A little bit. A lot of people I used to be friends with, like, I, I get it works both ways, but a lot of people, I lost touch with like a lot of people back home, which like really sucks. It just kind of sucks. But also people who will just like, that I never talked to me before, will like try and reach out now. And I'm like, mm, why are you trying to talk to me? Or like just, you have to also just watch like who you trust out here and like what they want to use you for. If they're just going to be like, okay, I got what I needed, now bye. Or if they're actually genuine and like going to be there for you and don't just want to like use you for something. This is kind of like a rude ass question. Like, fuck you. How many dudes did you peg? 100% honest, literally 100% honest. First of all, I don't even want to know, know why I'm answering this question, but just want to say fuck you. Like, Y'all are rude for asking that. The only person I've been with since I've been out here is my boyfriend. So yeah, that and that is me telling the truth. I literally like didn't hook up with anyone until like we started dating and shit. What's the hardest thing about dating Isaiah? I guess it could be hard sometimes that we work together. So like sometimes that can be hard. Like it's, it's not ideal to be doing the same job as your significant other. We're fine, you know, we're supportive. We're super supportive of each other and stuff and push each other to like work harder. But just in general, um, it can be hard just cause I, I always say this, I'm like so much more affectionate than he is. And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> but it is what it is. That's just like not his love language. Like it is mine. Someone said meep, meep. What have you learned the most being away from home? I've, I've just learned who the real ones are back home. Like there's some people who I just lost com touch with completely and it makes me really sad. So it's just like, I've learned like who like the, the real ones are, I guess. Like people who like try to keep touch a little bit. But then there's just people who don't understand like the life I live. They don't like, there's some people who understand that like our lives are like completely different. So like, like for example, like when I came home, like when I come home, it's like, it's a big deal for me because I like barely come home, you know? It was kind of obvious like who wanted to see me and who who didn't. It's kind of hard to explain. And there's like also, uh, since I've moved out here and stuff, no, and even since I like started, there's always been like a, the common misconception that like, for example, like since I'm living in Brad's house, like we're like, we're sleeping with each other which is definitely not the case. It's like a strict like business, like friendship relationship. That's literally what it is. And also it just like comes with that, that I'm like a clout chaser and stuff like that. Just even collaborating with like past YouTubers and stuff. But like what people don't understand is like, it's not like I went chasing after these people. All the collabs I usually do, like, you know, on other people's channels, like they reach out to me. Like for example, like Brad reached out to me. It was like, I think um, you'd be a good fit for raw gear. I think. Um, we could work well together with management. I can help you out like stuff like that Like that is definitely the common misconception there that like these people like reach out to me And that's how I've gotten like these amazing opportunities And yeah, it's not like I'm like chasing after people like trying to be a crowd chaser like put me in your video You know, that's just like not the case but the hate and like that kind of feedback is like something like that's always gonna be there like you can't control what other people say. Like people are always gonna have something to say. So people are always gonna have something to say and that's something just you just can't avoid. But I just wanted to also put attention to that common misconception that people literally always seem to think. Like that I, I sleep with everyone I collab with. Also that I'm a clout chaser. Yeah, that, those are, I get those, I get those two quite a lot. Isn't it cute? Best thing that's happened when she moved in. Yeah. Best thing that happened. I'm so grateful for him guys. Mm. Isn't he cute? But I was talking about how like one of the things that I was saying like how things change like since I moved out here mm. And I was like like did I think I was gonna be dating you the first time I met you? Mm. No, I didn't. He, he didn't think that way of me either. He's probably like who's this? Nobody is on the internet. Just playing on like my b**** like twirling your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're casually just watching TV. Well, five months ago, did you think you would just be twirling your b**** your fingers? <laughs> I don't <laughs> It's funny how this can just change like that for you like, like that. Yeah. Do you get homesick? Or did you get homesick at first when you moved or even now? I'm not kidding, the first day I was like really overwhelmed. I'm like, am I gonna get used to this? Am I, get, am I gonna get along with everyone in the house? Like, I didn't have a car at first, so I was like freaking out a little bit. Like, I wanted to be able to like, you know, do, sh do shit for myself. But having a car was like, not having a car was hard at first, but uh, Isaiah- Took like everywhere. Isaiah was taking me everywhere and that's how we got really close. Yeah, so if you wanna know how to bag a girl, just like drive her everywhere. everywhere. I mean, I can get homesick here and there. Like just the other day I was kind of thinking like, damn, I miss the times where I could just like 
drive to my friend's house or like see my mom and my sister and my dad brother whatever and like I was like kind of realizing like damn I really like don't see them as much anymore it's like for like maybe a week every few months if that you know is it as bad as they really say it is no I mean see the good thing about where I live it's like I don't we don't live in like downtown LA or like West Hollywood which is way more hectic and kind of dirty and just like too much for me that would be too much for me I'm in the valley where it's more like homey and chill and it just it's more of like it's just more my speed I, I actually really like the valley I I'm glad um, that we're here and not in like downtown or anything like that but no it's not a, as bad as they say it is like yes yeah, some parts can be some it's just like it is what it is but Overall, like, it's been super beneficial living here, and yeah. Someone asked, like, are you going to get, like, an apartment or, like, live by yourself? And I'm like, yes. I'm actually going to be parting ways pretty soon. What? From everyone. You're getting your own place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With his friends. Not um, only for a couple months. Yeah. In a couple months, yeah. Chris will probably move out with his videographer friends. And then at that point, I'll probably get an apartment by myself. Which I think will be good for me to live on my own and be and a cat, though. More independent. And oh, a cat. if you think I'll be living in an apartment and I won't get a fucking cat, you're crazy. That's literally the first thing I'm doing, and I literally cannot wait for it. Like I'm almost like, like itching to do it. I literally want. To... And that's why so I don't want to live with you, because I hate cats. If you don't visit like every day, are you gonna live there indefinitely? I don't know, just because it is super expensive out here and the taxes are kind of crazy. And it's like, I would love to, cause I do love California. I love the area I'm in, like I love the weather, but it's like, will that be great for me money wise in the future? Probably not, but we'll see what happens. We will. Have you met any celebrity that you've been wanting to meet? No, the only celebrity I've been wanting to meet is Justin Bieber and that moment hasn't happened yet. So I'll be patiently waiting though. Ooh, this is kind of a good question. This is kind of goes along with the question that we were like, is LA as bad as people say it is? Someone was like, why does every YouTuber say LA is toxic? I live here, this is my hometown, how is it toxic? I guess they're saying like the social media like industry of things can be super toxic with like the people and how they'll just be friends with you just to use you for something. Like that can definitely be toxic. Um, and a lot of people are just like cloud chasers. Your worth is like by how many followers you have. Like some people like treat it like that, which is kind of crazy to me. Like that shouldn't really matter. Like. Oh, like, yeah, like, I'll just be friends with you because, or I'll let you into this party, like, just because you're like, you have two mil. So, yeah, come on in. Like, what? But I guess, yeah, that's what people mean, pretty much. Last thing is, what are your next steps in LA? Good question. My next steps are like coming out with my own merch, probably working on my own brand in the future, just, you know, pushing out more content. Speaking of merch, I am coming out with I'm having a good time merch. I'll pop up some pics of it, but um, you guys know whenever I eat and the food is good, I say I'm having a good time, which is 90% of the time I'm eating and I'm having a good time. So yeah, be ready for those shirts because they're gonna be dropping soon. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. But that's a little bit about my time here in LA, just explaining to you guys like what's gone down, what's changed, how I've changed. Just giving you guys a little inside look on what it's really like here. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please leave a like and a comment. I post Mondays and Thursdays, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Turn on your post notifications and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Peace.